of that, boy. It's floating. Oh! oh! How do they do? How to make pie dough from scratch. That's what we need. Sally. Sally knows what's up. Sally's baconaddiction.com. Best recipes. Just in general, ever. We need unsalted butter. Oh, and also we need two liter bottle. I don't actually need what's inside that. I just need the two liter bottle to make a minnow trap because that's also what I'm doing. In addition to making a pumpkin pie completely from scratch, like I'm making the dough, the pumpkin filling, and I'm gonna make the whipped cream to put on top. I'm doing it all today. So you gotta stay tuned for that. Cause I got a comment right here saying I need my yearly pumpkin pie and I'm gonna deliver because I listen to your guys' comments. But this time I'm going all out by making the whole thing. So you get to see baking Bass Bros. Now we have a great pumpkin pie recipe. We got Sally here again, cause Sally is the absolute goat. Cornstarch, we got that. Cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, black pepper, heavy cream, milk. Okay, I think I got everything that I need or have it on the list. I have to go to the store and get everything I need now. So let's go to the store. I don't know why I looked like that. What's wrong with me? I don't have my wallet, that might be important. We have ice forming over there. That is not what you like to see. I mean, I guess at this point, I kind of like to see ice because open water fishing sucks and at least ice fishing, I can catch fish sometimes on occasion. Hopefully got everything I need here. But first up, I gotta empty this two liter. It's a seltzer water? I don't even know what that is. Is it like, I'm assuming it's like some sort of like club soda, but like off-brand carbonated water, which there's carbonation, so I'm right. Tastes like carbonated water. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> you wanna help me? <clears throat> I need to make a minnow trap out of this. <clears throat> In order to do that, I need it to be empty. Kevin, go get a glass of club soda. Is that a chug? Huh? That's not a chug, keep going. <laughs> Bro, just spit it all up. I'm just gonna dump it in here and just have a container of club soda in the fridge. This is about the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Now we got my bottle. We're all ready to go. Let me just tear this off though. Bob the Builder here. As you guys know, I suck at crafting anything, but we're gonna attempt to do this. Just, just, yep. Cut this top off here. Got it, and now we just do this. <laughs> I don't need zip ties, I don't even do it. I know we have zip ties, but I have no idea where they are. Found them, don't even worry about it. I need a drill. Found it, but it has the socket thing. I need a, a, a pointy thing, you know? I got no idea where it is. There we go, and then we do this. Zip tie that bad boy. Another slit, zip tie that boy. The other side, and that one goes, and now one more side. I would not advise doing this, by the way, uh, sticking pocket knives through things because you can cut your finger off. But luckily, I'm a trained professional idiot, so I did not cut my finger off. And now there we go, we got our minnow trap. That's just the most amazing looking minnow trap you've ever seen in your entire life. And now that the hole is super small up here, um, about the tiniest fish can get through there. But that's good though, because I'm hoping I catch a small enough minnow that I can feed Fred with it. That's, I guess, the goal in a sense, sort of. But if not, I'm gonna keep these minnows and try to use them as bait somewhere else. I found scissors, don't worry. Now we cut, 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 cut. And there's our minnow trap. I would probably like Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna hold you guys instead. I need a little string or rope to attach to this to tie so I don't lose my trap. Do we have a rope? I might just use fishing line. That would work. I need an amputation, cut off communication. Ah. This city don't know my name. Maybe I'm a little bit anxious. Maybe I'm just too insecure. I know you all remember from like high school and stuff that one dude that always wore shorts no matter what the weather was. Yeah, it's about 30 degrees right now. I'm that guy wearing shorts. Yeah, that's just me. Holy crap, there's a lot of ducks over there. Dude, I have bread. Oh my gosh. They're all coming at me. Dude, I'm not giving. It's not for you. They're all coming after me. Dude, what the heck? Dude, I've got a whole army coming after me. Oh my goodness, I'm running away. I'm running. I'm going in the woods. 
Yeah, now you're scared. Yeah. Me and the squad, they're all running away. Okay, I think I'm gonna drop it down right here and then tie it up to this barbed wire so that way it's easy to grab. And it's also a pretty deep spot here, so I think that's that's where good the minnows are gonna be right now. Since it's a lot colder, they're not gonna be in that moving water, you know what I'm saying? Look at that bread. Shove it in there. I don't think I need all of it though. All right, that's probably good. It's floating. I'm gonna tie it down here so people can't see it. Minnow trap is set. Now time to go make some pumpkin pie. Time to get the pie crust started since I have to let that sit for like four hours or something. One and a fourth cup of flour. Fourth teaspoon salt, so that means just put a little bit of salt in there. Okay, now combine. Cut in the cold butter until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. That's kinda cold. I forgot to buy pumpkin. What are you making? A pumpkin pie. And I don't even have pump. How did that not cross my mind? I'm such an idiot. Add in occasionally, apparently. It's flying everywhere, dude. I'm putting it in a bigger bowl. Just add in a tablespoon at a time, so. That's a tablespoon, I guess. Well, there's my dough. Now time to wrap it in this stuff. Now I let it refrigerate for four hours. Well, the crust is sitting there. I'm probably gonna make the whipped cream just to put in the fridge as well. Oh, so it's pretty simple. You just put it in a mixer and mix it. One cup heavy whipping cream. Two tablespoons of this. A half a teaspoon of some vanilla. Now we whip this on medium speed for like three, four minutes-ish. I should probably plug this in. That would, that would help. Let's see how it tastes. Honestly, it needs more of something. I think vanilla. Let's put a tad bit more vanilla in there. More sugar. We'll see how that goes. I think it tastes pretty good. I think I'm gonna call that good. There we go. All ready to go. Back at the creek, it's been about four hours and I got the bucket. Let's see if there's anything in here. Honestly, I, I don't even know, but we're just gonna pull this up and see what happens. All right. Oh my gosh. How did they, f dude, those are some big chubs. How did they, how did they fit in there? Got the bucket filled up. I forgot my pocket knife. I didn't think this through. How am I gonna, <laughs> I gotta rip this, oh, there we go. We can just rip it. Let's just rip this apart. All right. I mean, these are some nice little creek chub. Let's just drop them in there though. All right, that worked actually a lot better than I expected. There's about six of them in there, so I don't know how they fit through there. Like, they're bigger in diameter than that hole. My hands are iced, though. Anyways, I gotta go back to the store because I didn't buy pumpkin, as you guys know. All right, gotta keep these boys in the garage so they stay cold, nice and chilly, and adapted to the water. Probably gonna take them out to the lake tomorrow and see if I can catch any bass on them or pike, so y'all just stay tuned for that video tomorrow. It's snowing out right now. Just shoot my bow a little bit. But this is thought I'd share with you guys that it's snowing. <sighs> Time to make the pumpkin pie filling, which is the last part of the pumpkin pie. One can of pumpkin. Give me another egg. I'll probably read the directions before I start putting everything in. Oh! <laughs> what egg in? All right, now we just put the brown sugar in and we whisk together. More brown sugar. Mix until combined. <laughs> Tablespoon cornstarch, half teaspoon salt. One and a half teaspoon ginger. Um, I don't really have any ginger, so I'm just gonna, I mean, cinnamon. So I'm just gonna put the rest in there, because half teaspoon ginger. Fourth teaspoon nutmeg. Eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. How do you get an eighth teaspoon? And they call for heavy cream, but I'm gonna use evaporated milk, because that's what I normally use. And a fourth cup of milk. So I um, get home from class. I want something to eat, go in the fridge. And I see a tub of club soda. Soy water, whatever you want to call it. Who does that? Maybe it's a common thing. I don't know, but I've never seen someone put club soda in a tub of wear. Oh, oh. oh. All right, now let's roll this thing out. That's so uneven. I don't like this. I'm re rolling it. Let's try this again. We're going to roll it up onto the dough. I mean, onto the stick. And then we're just gonna roll it off like that. There we go. And then press it down with a fork. 
to make some nice lines. I have to like partially bake it, but you need like pie weights. I don't have those. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Need our parchment paper. And I don't have uh, pie weights, so they said you can just use like some rice, so I don't know. I'm just gonna. Then you put it in the oven at 375 or 10 minutes to partially bake it, whatever the heck that means. We'll remove that. And go back in just like this for another seven, eight minutes, apparently. Now it's time to pump, pump, dump this in. All right, time to put this in the oven for like 55 to 60 minutes. Cut the pie out. Halfway through, I covered up the crust with this so it doesn't uh, like burn. And it actually worked quite well. I just got all that cool. I'm actually taking it to a party, so. Well, the pie is gone now. I didn't even get to show you guys my live reaction, but the filling and the whipped cream tasted really good. The dough was like just kind of hard. It wasn't like burnt, but for some reason it was very hard. I don't really know why, but the dough wasn't the best. I'll put that out there. The pie filling itself and the whipped cream were just like chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any other ideas for me, like DIYs, like homemade stuff, like the minnow trap, or any recipes, if you want to see me cook or do like cooking challenges, if you like seeing me cook, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely make any videos that you want to see happen. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.